It's showtime! Welcome to Show Me Some Television, the segment where I binge watch television programs thanks to Roger's Show Me service, still for free, and uh, yeah, tell you all about it. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about Lost Girl Season 5, the fifth and final season of Lost Girl, which, oddly enough, on Show Me was listed as Season 5, Season 6. So there was two different seasons, and I was like, Season 6? Awesome! But then I looked it up, and I was like, there's only eight episodes in Season 5. Is there something missing? So I went online to find out that, you know what, there are only five seasons of Lost Girl, um, but it was sort of broken up. Eight episodes, and then sort of like a hiatus, and then it came back for eight episodes. But it's clearly one full long season. It's not like the eight episodes ended on this big, you know, season cliffhanger um, no, it's it's clearly one full long transitional story, but I guess Show Me decided to break it into two different seasons for some reason. Not correct, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. I watched them all. Watched it all. So this is <laughs> Lost Girl Season 5 slash 6, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, so with this one, um, I kind you know what? This is the the season, the series finale season. Um, it's one of those things where um, it really needs to bring it all home, go out with a bang, you know that sort of thing. Um, and it does. Uh, essentially, all your favorite uh, characters from the past seasons are in this. Um, some. Smaller than others, <laughs> but of course it all revolves around Bo and um, uh, the Doctor and uh, well, I, I'm trying to think who are the main cast in season five. So you got Bo, uh, Dyson, of course, uh, Lauren, the Doctor, um, Trick. Um, isn't he's there, but he's not uh, as big of a player as he has been in past seasons, oddly enough. Replacing him is Tamsin, um, who plays a big role in this one. And unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of her character. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we still get Vex is there. Ebony makes appearances. Um, that kind of stuff. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, uh, Kenzie has has not as much as you know fans of Kenzie would have liked, but she does have a uh, small recurring role throughout the the season. And um, yeah, I'm trying to keep it spoiler free because there's stuff that happens in the previous seasons. Uh, that I could mention leading into this, but if you haven't seen the previous seasons, I don't know why you're watching this video, but if you are, then, you know, let's try and keep it, uh, you know, without, with, you know, spoiler free, essentially. Um, this final season, um, I've mentioned it in past videos about, well, past video, I think there was one season one to four, uh, Lost Girl, uh, segment that I did for this, um, how the title Lost Girl um, I didn't think it fit past the first maybe two seasons. Um, and in this season, the fifth season, I actually kind of think it works again. Um, oddly enough, this one deals with her, um, with her family. Uh, delves more into her history, her family's history and stuff like that. And in that sense, it's not so much, you know, that she doesn't know who she is anymore it's more she doesn't know she you know she's trying to find out and learn about where she came from um and that's revealed you know piece by piece throughout the um the season and eventually it leads to the giant climax at the end um where all things come around and then uh yeah the season actually has it, it in terms of series finales, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's satisfying. I think it's very satisfying. Everything seems to work out. Everybody comes together. Um, you do have to sort of uh, suspend <laughs> uh, 
your knowledge and belief of certain things because there's a lot of stuff taken for granted and a lot of stuff that kind of just doesn't make sense but you just have to go with it because that's the way they, they decided to do the story um and eventually you get to the end and it does leave a little possibility of a continuation you know a season six or a spin-off series if you will um but we all know that that did not happen so yeah so lost girl season five essentially if you're a fan of lost girl series i think you're going to enjoy season five i think you're going to get behind it um it, it does everything that you have come to like from the lost girl series what is kind of missing is the whole detective aspect of it um that's kind of thrown out the window this is more of a you know our group versus their group uh, good versus evil type thing going on um similar to the light versus the dark that you had earlier on but we all know that the light versus the dark has kind of been you know uh, mishmashed due to re you know past season events um and so while there are still light and dark fade the whole clash of the two has really taken a backseat because of of things um essentially anybody could be out to get you and that brings me to another point in season five is people dying there is a good chance that your favorite character could die could come back to life could die could not come back to life could happen anything's possible in lost girl so um yeah be prepared to possibly shed some tears um because there are there are you know people main characters and non-main characters alike who tend to get bite the big one in this one um so that's interesting i wasn't expecting that but uh, i guess if you're gonna go out you go out with a bang and that's one way to do it right um another thing to to say about season five um it still contains a lot of that sultry aspect so if you like your your sex scenes they are here they aren't quite as long as in previous seasons but there's still a lot of it going on uh girl girl boy boy uh, girl boy boy girl all that kind of stuff lots of stuff going on so you got lots of lesbian gay hetero uh fantasy stuff going on which is one of the reasons why people i guess were into lost girl uh so if that was your 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 the, the thing that drew you to lost girl i have no fear there's still a lot of um sexual tension going on in season five um uh, yeah and uh, we get some hunky new characters um yeah, there's lots of new attractive people thrown into the mix um, to keep things fresh. <laughs> um, and enough drama for all you drama queens out there who just love that whole aspect of television. Um, there's quite a bit of that in this season. So, yeah, like I said, those who are Lost Girl fans, I'm sure you're going to continue and enjoy season five. Um you may nitpick at a few things, but don't don't nitpick. Just let it go. Watch it. Enjoy. Cry when you need to cry. Get aroused when you need to get aroused. Have your fun. Cheer on your favorite guys. You know, do what you need to do and just enjoy the the stuff going on. There is some new mythology that's come into play uh, in this season um, to explain everything. Um, but uh yeah and like i said that's one of the reasons why i kind of like things about lost girl is how they take you know those those mythologies and, and fairy tales that we know already quite popular and, and quite well known um and take those and do a little twist and spin and change them around so that they fit into the world and modernize them and make it interesting again um and yeah, so there is quite a bit of that going on in season five. So if that's your thing, hey, be prepared. It's going to be a good, good time watching Lost Girl season five. But if you're new to Lost Girl, um, all you got to know is the Lost Girl is a succubus. And there are fairies, well, fairy folk or um, creatures, magical creatures, you know, hiding in amongst the regular population 
and this is their story essentially um, the succubus being the main character who is the center of all that seems to be going on and for good reason she's very important and she uh, influences uh, quite a bit so yeah check it out and uh, yeah let me know what you think post down below again there's season one to four in case you wanted to have more information about it go check that out um, but yeah until next video take care have a good one